Hey everybody, Bill Murphy here with MMORPG.com uh, and I'm driving home from work and we're going to do a new series today. It's called Bill's Gut Reaction or The Gut Reaction or From the Gut, something like that. I haven't quite decided and you'll find out what it's called when I put this thing up on YouTube a little bit later. Um, the idea is every day I'm going to pick a news story and just kind of prattle on about it. No editing, no scripting or anything like that. Just right from the gut. It's going to be raw. It's going to be unedited. I might swear. Hide your children. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go uh, and, and everything like that. We're going to throw up, you know, of course we're going to put the intros and all the cool logos and stuff like that on it. But otherwise, this is not going to be the... Uh, the big production deal that MMOFTW is, or the crazy amount of production that uh, Hive Leaders videos are, anything like that. This is just me vlogging, uh, ugh, I hate to use that term, I'm too old to use that term, uh, about the day's news in MMOs and RPGs. Uh, and today's topic, of course, is none other than Final Fantasy XIV pulling the Mac version of its game uh, from store sell, st store shelves, so no editing folks, store shelves and uh, and retail and download and all that stuff based on feedback that the game's performance was just not matching uh, what they wanted uh, for their game. Obviously, you know, Final Fantasy XIV is no stranger to bad performance and launches. Uh, the first game was indeed, after all, completely shelved and then rebooted with the wonderful Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. So it probably pains Square Enix quite a bit to see that the performance and the system requirements and all that stuff and the communication just wasn't up to par for the Mac launch of Final Fantasy XIV when it came out back on June 23rd. Now, that doesn't mean that the game is in quite the same space that other PC launches have been recently, and most notably uh, Warner Brothers Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight is a huge, huge uh, bumbling, bungling, bungling, poopy mess over on the PC. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to play that one on my laptop, but I still can't get the damn thing to launch on my much nicer spec out PC. Uh, it just will not launch, but on the on the laptop, for whatever reason, it works, so I'm kind of playing along there. Uh, but where were we? Oh yeah, Final Fantasy XIV. So now Mac users and Mac gamers in general, they're about 7% of the PC uh, computer gaming populace. It's not exactly a large market. However, there was obviously a demand for Final Fantasy XIV to be on the Mac, uh, so it's really probably a, a kick in the shins of those Mac gamers who are looking forward to playing Final Fantasy XIV on their uh, Apple computers. However, I don't, I don't think it's going to be very long before they start up sales again and have the whole performance issues and the system requirement issues and everything else like that uh, ironed out. If you are one of the affected Mac users who cannot play Final Fantasy XIV because your system just won't run it because the uh, system requirements and all that stuff weren't up to up to, uh, up to to snuff, you can request a refund. They're issuing them right now. Um, I think it's very cool, uh, very nice of Square Enix to do this, and I, I don't know if for sure if they would have done the same thing uh, had Arkham Knight's issues not popped up, but I think... Uh, you know, you know, I don't want to say good guy Square Enix or anything like that. I don't want to make a meme out of this, but I do think they are uh, a, a good company that tries to do what's right by its customers, especially in regards to Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know any other company out there that would have shut down a game just to completely remake it and pump the money into it because they believed in the ideals of the uh, of the company and the core values of the Final Fantasy XIV franchise to completely reboot it and then have a hit on their hands. Um, so I think uh, I think it's pretty cool what they're doing with the the whole Mac version and stopping the sales and offering refunds until they can patch it and get everything up to speed. Uh, I don't expect we'll have to wait too long before it's back on store shelves. This kind of thing usually uh, usually doesn't last too long. Although in the case of Arkham Knight, I still haven't had a patch, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. In any case, uh, that's my thought. That's my gut reaction for the Final Fantasy XIV Mac news of today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff at MMORPGcom without the dot. You can follow me on Twitter at the Bill Murphy because there is only one, <laughs> just like uh, the Highlander. There's only one of us. There can only be one. I've cut off some several heads of other Bill Murphys to absorb their powers and their knowledge from centuries past. But that's a that's a whole different other video we'll have to get to. Any case, guys, uh, that's it. That's me. The gut reaction. We're done rambling. Go go do something else more productive with your time.
Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.